Uh, there we go, now we're recording. Okay, just for you people out there on YouTube, just going to give you a tour of my boat, what I've been doing to it. Um, it's been a lot of time and effort getting it all fixed up, ready to go. And yeah, I've had it in the water a couple of times, it's been good. So let's turn this around if I can. No, I can't turn it around. Can't turn it around. It's handy. Alright, no worries. <clears throat> now, when I got the boat, it was in a pretty big mess. So, I've done, well, not actually a mess, but the paint was terrible. Um, I've got along. Repainted the whole thing from back to front. So I've done all this myself. Especially all these little teeth mark things down in here and that. I had to put masking tape there, masking tape there, get standing nice so I got all my points right. Took me a good hour just to tape up one side, which is a fairly decent sized boat. <coughs> so I got me red on the bottom, a little shark teeth or razor blade or whatever you want to call it. And I've got me blue around the centre. And a nice white cap, it's not so white at the moment because it's pretty dirty. So I've got all that, it's all fully registered, it's working. Um, yeah, it took me took me a fair while, but I finally got all the paintwork done. I'm I'm happy with the paintwork. <coughs> Other people are happy with the paintwork too. Um even around the back. I just done straight right around the back, don't want to go overboard with the back. It's mainly the sides just so people can see me in it. And then next thing is my motor. As you can tell, I've got a nice big 85 horsepower Mercury motor, two strokes, so it fucking goes real well. I love it. Nice big prop, we're gonna pick up on the water pretty easy. Now I've got that, and um, yeah, I've just had it fully serviced by a bloke of Southwest Rocks. He's done an amazing job, it works, works brilliantly. Can't fault it. As long as it gets you in and out of the water, that's the main thing. Yeah, see? Painted up both sides. That way it looks amazing. And then when you come to the inside, at the back, the cannons. That, well, got given that, so I'm like, okay, I'll put that in there, so at least I've got some rod holders. And that's no worries at all. Give me some good rod holders. I've just got to climb on in. Now, one big issue I had in that, um, that the bloke at the marine place told me, is I need a new solenoid switch. Solenoid. So up in behind there, right there, there is a brand new solenoid switch. And it works really good. I've already tested it out so the, so the motor actually tips up and down when it's supposed to. Which I'm happy about. <coughs> Oh, even the floor. In the floor I had this other kind of red. And, um, yeah, I was pretty, pretty upset with the, how the floor was. Because it was white and people walking in and out. It was dirty. It's dirty again now. But it looked atrocious. So what I did, I just slapped paint everywhere. Up the sides, buddy, everywhere like that. Just to give it a bit more detail anyway. And it doesn't look as grubby. Next thing is, my driver's seat. I had an old office swivel seat bolted in, which was pretty dodgy. Um, but yeah, then I actually finally got the money and got myself a new seat. The seat's up there in the back, so all I have to do is just pop it on, swivel around, done beautifully. Now, one time I took it out and I nearly flipped some friends out, so I got my little handle up there, so when, when you're kicking along the water, you can hold on. It's brilliant. <coughs> Now, the main thing that took me a bit to work on <coughs> was up inside the cab. Up inside the cab, it was all gutted out. There was nothing at all. Up in the roof there, there was even wires that were hanging around that weren't even going anywhere. So I had to take all the wiring out, rewire it, and get it all going. Once I get a chance, I'm going to put a secondary battery in here, and that's where my wires... Well, that's going to get fixed up, but that's where all... 
my secondary battery to run my implements. And then also, since it was all gutted out, I had no shelving, no nothing like that. So I got some wood, done some measurements, paint cut. This bench here, the main gaps, I've got these um, what are they? 60, 60 litre tubs from Reject Shop. And I measured my gap off them. That way I could slide them up in there with me, like the life jackets up this end. Then I've got my like, safety gear, whistles, V-sheet, all that stuff in this end. Um, but yeah, I measured the shelves off them. And I've got a little bit of room down the bottom there for like, for, like my tools and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, no, I've been doing a lot of work. Because I, I bought it off a blade. Bless his soul, he's passed away now. But um, yeah, just so I can keep his memory, I got the boat up to scratch and I love it. It goes out in the water, it's good. I've still got a lot more work to do to it too. Because um, I want to build a little, like where my secondary battery, I'm going to build a little shelf in there so I can put my battery up in there and have it all safe and secure. Um, maybe, maybe finish painting the inside of the cab, it's a bit messy at the moment. But yeah, that is my boat. It's a 15 foot half cabin runabout. And I love it, I like it. It gets me out in the water. I got my boat license, I need my boat license for this kind of thing, which is pretty easy to get. Um, we're up on the helm, you got your wheel. But that there, that's only a quick setup that the old boys put there. So what I'm going to do, I've got a new switchboard coming, I'm going to cut section out, fill them holes in, put my new switchboard in, and then, um, yeah, hopefully it'll pretty amazing, instead of any these little ones, I have a proper little switchboard there, got to get myself a radio and that, but, yeah, it's going to take a bit of time, but we have a bit of time and know-how and effort and all that stuff, you'll, you'll get there. That's the thing, like you can't, don't have to buy anything brand new because brand new, well, there's chances that stuffing up worse. But if you get something that's already sort of worn in and and you got the know how and time and you sort of want to do something yourself, yeah, it's good doing it that way. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed my boat and yeah, I gotta finish getting packed up because we're going out in the water today. <laughs> Alright, bye.